It's weird. Well, I mean, I, I searched your Twitter and... Oh, God. At least 747 times with you and men are trash is in there. Oh, absolutely. I will tattoo it across my chest. So do you think... That that is going to affect any of your dating life. Oh no, it's on I purpose. I know it's a joke by and no, large, dead, but at I'm, the same I'm time, serious. I'm dead serious, and dead I also serious. do it so niggas like, oh, she said men are trash. Fuck yeah. that bitch. I'm like, perfect. Got it. it it's a tree shaking okay. situation, right, yeah. and I, and I act ridiculous so mm-hmm. niggas will leave me alone. All right, but, so you don't th- you don't think that uh, that that it can affect your I mean, not obviously not with your your boyfriend in situation now, but like your dating life going on in the future. Like you you meet somebody in person. Y'all kicking it, he talking. He just happens to like, oh, she's a comedian. I fuck with her. I go on her Twitter. Like, oh, men are trash. Men are trash. You, you, you don't ever the think co- about the that. The man part. that's for me ain't gonna care. Is not gonna care about something like that. Mm-hmm. Like if it don't apply, let it fly. Is like a great mantra. Like gotcha. or like so all not all men. I don't need no nigga that's gonna come to me. Not all men. I don't give a fuck about that. Yeah, nobody's ever nuance talking about all is important. People. Like yeah. general statements are like general. If I say kids go to school, no, because my cut. Yeah. I didn't say every single person in the, every man, not every man. My daddy was actually worth a damn, but he was the last nigga that was worth a damn who was alive and he did. So I don't know <laughs> who else. <laughs> it's not looking good for niggas. So I'm sorry. I got, I make a when lot was of the fir- When was the daddy. first time that that came to you? When, when did this, when did the uh, men of trash thing really hit you? Was it something? something but you know what's yeah. so funny? All girls with daddies are the first ones to tell them that niggas ain't shit. They may say it Explain that. in a different way. My daddy been telling me stay away from the snake boys since I was born. Copy. Okay. All right. Well, that Stay away from boys. Leave yeah. the boys alone. Blah, blah, blah. Our daddies told us first. Mm, and, and that's the man telling you about a man. Literally. Okay. So once we grow up and it's just like, you know, we bright out and bushy tail, you know, high school beats our ass mm-hmm. or whatever. And then like niggas ain't shit. You know, you got the Trinas and the Kayas and stuff like growing up. He's like, you know what? Niggas ain't shit. And then men are trash is more more racial neutral way to say niggas ain't shit. (laughs) (laughs) It's easier to say. It's easy to say. And it's like, you know, they not. And then the more you learn and love, it's just like, you know what, goddamn it, they not. And you gotta sift through a lot of bullshit. Mm -hmm. But it think about it. No, I mean by and large, I I agree with you. Like if I was a woman, I'd probably be a lesbian, keeping it a buck. And it's just like, I'm just not a lesbian, bro. Like I have (laughs) thought about it. I tried. Like I kissed the girl one time and just like yeah, bro, I yeah. like boys. Got it. So I'm here now. So yeah, yeah I'm gonna complain about y'all all day. <laughs> I only gotta like one nigga. So I ain't gotta fuck with the rest of y'all. Well, yeah. What but you gotta hope so that does One to five. Yeah, you gotta have it. Yeah, it's probably two or three in your whole entire life. Some alternates. Oh no, yeah. yeah. At, you always like them, then you don't. Mm-hmm. Yo, Ferg, what up?